Can you tell me what this structure is highlighted in purple? Hi, my name is Stephanie, and this is Brain Bites, where we discuss brain and spinal cord imaging and bites. Today, we are presented with a 31-year-old female with irregular menstruation and elevated prolactin. If you guessed a prolactinoma, you'd be correct. A prolactinoma is a subset of pituitary adenomas. These are the most common pituitary tumors. It usually affects ages less than 40, affects females more than males, and it is located within the cella turcica. The treatment is medically with a dopamine agonist like cabergoline or bromocriptine, or we can surgically resect. And adenomas come in all shapes and sizes. We usually um, differentiate them as microadenomas, which are 10 millimeters or less, or macroadenomas, which are greater than 10 millimeters. So to review some anatomy, on the left side of the screen, we have a sagittal view of normal brainstem, cerebellum, thalamus, hypothalamus, and pituitary gland. However, on the right side of the screen, we do have an abnormal pituitary gland. So to further diagnose a suspected pituitary adenoma, usually an MRI would be used to further investigate these symptoms. So this slide, we have two different MRIs. We have pre-contrast and post-contrast. On the left side, we have pre-contrast T1-weighted MRI, where we can somewhat look at the anatomy, the abnormal anatomy of the pituitary gland. However, one defining factor of these pituitary adenomas is the delayed enhancement of the pituitary tumor. So on the right side of the screen, we have a post-contrast image of the pituitary adenoma, and we can see the the highlighted structures, the brightly lit structures surrounding the pituitary adenoma, and we can clearly see the defined darkly colored pituitary adenoma um, within this right sided, um, on the right side of the screen, um, within this view highlighted with the purple arrow. So this is just some more imaging to further solidify um, the MRI imaging. Again, we have both of these are post-contrast T1 weighted. So circled in purple on the left side of the screen, you can kind of see the darkly lit uh, pituitary adenoma surrounded by the brightly lit surrounding structures. And then again, on the left side of the screen, we have a frontal view, again, post-contrast T1 weighted image where the surrounding structures are lit more brightly than the actual pituitary adenoma. So here are some pathologies that should be on your differential list when suspecting a pituitary adenoma. One would be a Rathke's cleft cyst. Um, however, in these cases, you wouldn't see any enhancement at all. Um, another would be a meningioma. Um, these would be more enhancing, and these actually could identify a normal pituitary gland. Um, however, you will also see narrowing of the carotid artery. Um, but in terms of a meningioma, um, you can see some of these in this area as well. Lastly, you can suspect a craniopharyngioma. These are more heterogeneous. They can contain calcification, and they are larger in size. So some clinical tips to look out for when you're on the wards, um, starting from the left side of my screen, um, you can see invasion of the cavernous sinuses um, in pituitary adenomas. So indicated in this image here on the left with the arrow, you can see invasion of the cavernous sinuses. Also, if you um, have a patient that comes in and one of their complaints is um, loss of eyesight in the peripheral view, you can also suspect a pituitary adenoma as these can cause mass effects on the optic nerves and can cause vision loss specifically in the peripheral view. Another thing to look out for when doing pre-contrast T1 imaging is the internal hemorrhage. So this is gonna look like a hyperintense area of hemorrhage, and that is due to the small arteries in the tumor itself. And that is indicated on the right side of the screen with the arrow and the hyperintense um, area of hemorrhage. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you found it helpful. If you did find it helpful, give it a like. If you found it helpful, share it with friends, share it with colleagues. And thank you so much. See you next time.